Developing tonight, an upstate family says they want to turn their pain into progress. Jermaine Presley, a father and murder suspect, watched his child's funeral from inside his jail cell. Greenville County deputies say he accidentally shot his daughter, 23-year-old Nadeja, when she came home late one night in May. Her family has rallied together to not only mourn her loss, but to support her father, who said goodbye to his daughter inside the detention center. Tonight, this family is talking about it with county council. Fox Carolina Shell Ramin was there. Now, Shell, you spoke to Nadeja's family. What do they have to say about all of this? Well, Cody, Nadeja's family actually thanks County Council tonight, saying because of a simple live stream, her father was able to virtually attend her funeral from jail, a moment that can never be relived. But more importantly, this family says it's what Nadeja would have wanted. It doesn't matter if they're sitting in a jail cell or out in the free world. Nadeja Presley's family says they feel trapped some days by their sadness. She was a great person. Her father loved her and she loved him. That love cannot be touched, even behind what this family calls a terrible mistake. We love her father. We know this is not intended to be. We have no hate. We have no hate. Jermaine Presley says his daughter Nadeja was his world, but one May evening, Greenville County deputies say he mistook her for an intruder, shooting at his door on Young Street, killing his world, Nadeja. We were three best friends, <laughs> and I told the judge I buried one of my best friends and I lost another. And keeping him that long detained was just so unfair. While investigating, deputies say they found drugs in the home and took Presley to jail, serving time but missing the moment to bury his only daughter. And he was not able to go to the funeral, and we were able to uh, to, to live let him attend her wake by live stream. Not there in person but they're in spirit. A live stream is what this family and community activist Bruce Wilson want every inmate in county jail to have access to. We got to deal with this for the rest of our lives, but not being able to attend her funeral on top of what happened, what he done, which was a mistake. It's like a triple threat. They called upon county council, asking it to be called Nadeja's rule. Nobody else is doing it in South Carolina, so maybe we could set the standard for the rest of the state. If we can't transport people to funerals, particularly for immediate family, we certainly can at least live stream it. She gave freely, and now Nadeja's family says her generosity should live on to help those from every walk of life. This policy is, is giving back to the family loved ones that, that may lose someone. She's yeah, still she, giving she's still, yes. even after her death. She's still giving. We're told that Jermaine Presley was released from the Greenville County Detention Center yesterday. He is now on house arrest, but this family is requesting that a couple of iPads be given to the Greenville County Detention Center so these funerals can be live streamed from now on. Greenville County Council says this has no impact on the taxpayer, and as of now, they are behind it. Reporting live from Greenville County Square, I'm Shilver Mean, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.